What ho, good evening, so on and so forth, ladies and geriatrics. Now, what have we got here tonight? Actually, what have we got here tonight? Well, let me show you. We have a marlin, and it has a designation of some sort. Uh, however, uh, if you know anything about these, then uh, turn off now because you know it, and if you don't, then carry on watching. Uh, so, as you can see, Stratocaster alike, it has a beautiful maple cap neck. How do we know it's maple capped? I shall show you because that is, oh dear, I'm getting all tangled up here. Um, because there is no, sorry about that, I stepped on the lead. Um, there is no skunk stripe on the back. Oh, look, we've got sealed, damn it, did it again, sealed tunas, which is very lovely. Um, now, no skunk stripe means that the truss rod, the adjustment is here at the bottom end, um, the truss rod went in before the maple cap went on. And that is a super smooth job. You can't even see the join, it's like a very well crafted toupee. So uh, yes, beautifully constructed, very, very well made. Where do they come from? Well, these were made in East Germany, in the Deutsche Democratic Republic in the 80s. I had one back in the day. This is probably about, I don't know, 83, 85, something like that. And I did have one at that time when, of course, I was about uh, oh, two years old, uh, clearly. So, yeah, they are, well, they're well made. They're well made. They sound great. And I assume that with them being East German, that um, the electrics and many other uh, elements of it were probably made from, I don't know, decommissioned Russian tanks or something like that. But they're great. They're very nice to play. This one is well set up, has brand new fender strings. And um, tell you what, let's have a listen to my favourite band all the way from YouTubia. I bet there's an advert. Let me tell you about the challenge where it's not about going further or far. Some posh tosser on the jet ski. Anyway, here we go. one and you want maybe if you're starting out and you don't know what to buy and you just want to get into it inexpensively then have it get one they're well made very well constructed and in my opinion certainly beautiful now have I talked to you about knobs let me talk to you about knobs and there is absolutely not another word that I can use potentiometer caps perhaps anyways 
So, uh, there is a slight mismatch between the three knobs here, and that is because I don't recall seeing these for several years, which would explain, of course, this guitar's vintage. Uh, these original knobs have what they call a, a D-style um, insert, springy insert. Uh, they made them. In the 80s they don't anymore everything is splined now so I could not find a proper replacement uh, so what I did was I got a spline bomb from an old squire or a, you know, some bits and bobs I had knocking about drill down it bundle screw in it and um, happy days there you go so uh, absolutely brilliant I'll tell you what Let's have a run through the pickups. Now, I've been doing a bit of bending and wiggling, and they are brand new strings, so if it's got a little out of tune, then we'll put that right. Uh, so, usual, usual skin area, because I want you to hear all the strings, so I'm gonna do that. Standard, oh, standard phrase. Sorry, I'm boring myself now. <laughs> That is a fine sounding and fine playing guitar. Make no mistake about it. Uh, okay, position number two. It's superb. It Honestly, it is superb. Position three or the middle. Plenty of power, nice and easy to play. And finally, and last but no means least, by uh, number five or the neck pickup. So there's no decay. There's you know, but just they look, they are lovely. And that now, uh, this particular item, and this is both a good thing and a bad thing. And let me show you and explain to you. You'll see here that there is a you can call it a lacquer crack if you wish, but basically, there's a bit of a crack in the wood there uh, underneath the bottom of the um, input jack shroud. Now, it's a bad thing because, of course, it is not as aesthetically pleasing as one might wish. However, what it does tell us is this, that it is made from solid wood. And the reason that I know this is because you can actually see the grain through the paints and we know that this is what they call a butcher block construction, which means that there are three solid pieces of wood that are uh, pinned uh, together. And so, you know, it's a nice, I've no idea what the wood is. Uh, the neck, I won't have to assume, is uh, maple, probably Canadian rock, because that's what was about at that time. And uh, so this, I don't know, it could be ash or poplar or any damn thing. Let's have a quick look around it. And uh, like I say, if you're in the market for something inexpensive and, oh, I do you know what? I like these. I like the um, mushroom string trees. They're very cool, very groovy. Uh, okay, so let's have a look around it. Uh, obviously, if you're going to buy one of these, make sure that everything is present on it. To make sure you've got the, um, what are they called? Wiggle stick, bendy bar, that thing there. Um, the action is nice and low. It has great playability. The frets are super shiny. And, the, and I'll, t I'll tell you what, oh, excuse me. I'll tell you what. For the age of this, if you have a look at those frets, they haven't seen as much wear as I might have expected from an instrument of this vintage. Nice, I reckon this 
probably is a nice thickness, nice full thickness. I reckon this probably weighs about the same as a regular USA Strat. It is a solid construction. So, yes, get on board. There's the uh, back plate that has got the serial number on it, which if you can find the right website, then uh, you might even be able to accurately identify its age, but certainly uh, it is pre-Berlin Wall coming down and made from that eastern block. So, lovely old piece of wood, great pickups, nice electrics, plays great. If you're uh, thinking of getting into it uh, on a budget, I recommend them. I recommend them above many other new items that one can purchase these days. They're well made. Thank you so much for watching and adios amigos. Ta-ra!